Okay, so when I ended the last demo, I pretty much finished it off with the smudge tool and just tugging away at some of the hard edges. Now, if this was a professional job where it was going to the printers for final approval, I would zoom in, you know, at about 50% like this. And I would use the smudge tool and just refine everything. So everything was touched. But for a project like this, with you know a quick deadline you just got to make sure it's meeting the basic requirements so the main thing i'm doing with this smudge tool here is trying to avoid and find any really hard edges and using this to kind of give them a direction but also to soften them out so they feel more believable and i i have a sense of which way the wind is blowing and so i'm smudging things that way without overdoing it And I have these two layers to play with, the clone stamp layer on top and the merge texture layer underneath, which gives me a lot of protection. It means I'm not going to take away anything I might want later. Because what is the telltale sign that something's been overworked digitally? It's that the same edge quality, it's, it's uniform everywhere. It looks like, you know, just an in Instagram filter turned everything to the same softness. That's what we're trying to avoid. I might also take my clone stamp layer overall and just take its opacity down a little bit. So it's not so strong. Not overwhelming. So that's basically what my clone stamp layer is doing on its own. I can actually take the opacity of the other one down a little bit and play them against each other. Yeah, so some tricks to finishing off. When you have kind of weird vertical columns like this, don't be afraid to let them break up. <coughs> Notice how there's big holes, right? <coughs> it's called Gestalt theory in psychology. Just because you have lines that are disconnected, we can still read them as solid shapes. I can push some space between the ear here and the, the back, the shell, but I don't want to draw it. I don't want any of these things to be too obvious. And at the end, you might not even need your, your cutout anymore. In fact, I think mine just kind of makes it a little, a little gray in the background. So I might just turn it down, or I might take its opacity way down. So it's barely there. One last clone stamping. So I find it so helpful. Soften this lower jaw a little bit. And then I'm ready to submit it. There we go. All right. Some other tricks. I could dodge and burn on my clone stamp layer if I needed the lighting to match better. I think it's working okay here. Uh, if there's any place I wanted to burn, I would do it in the mid-tones, really large with a soft brush and low exposure. And I would probably do it on the underside of the tail here. Like that. Again, just to match, make the cloud more believable. Not worrying about the... Um, the illusion of the creature. That will happen on its own. And if I dodge anywhere, it would probably be on that one shadow in the midtones. It's pretty big. Right here, just take that down a little bit. 
Okay. So what we're going to do is save this, of course, as a Photoshop file. And then we're going to save it just as a JPEG, right? Because we don't need to support transparency here. And we want that JPEG to be fewer than five megabytes before we upload it. And this is assignment four, cloud creature. We're only going to submit the one thing. So do make sure you have a little miniature creature in, in it so I can see that clearly. Where's my miniature guy? Just take your PNG and shrink them into a corner, whatever makes best sense for your composition. Save as to the desktop with your name and assignment four as a JPEG. And then look at the preview. And as long as it's below five megabytes, it doesn't need to be huge. Even so, it's minus 30 inches by 16 inches by 350. So that could be a, a big poster print because we have that quality. So if I view it at 100%, you can see the pixels. And yeah, they look pretty good. Very believable. All right. Then we go to our favorite place, and we're only going to upload the one JPEG image for this assignment into the assignment four folder. And you guys know how to do that. 